What's up everybody, Bubba Sawyer here, coming at you with a video showing you a few things that I got here and what I am getting and talking about what the uh, package that's coming in the mail should be here in the next couple of days unboxing. But first off, this is a Civil War Confederate reenactment uh, costume collab. Uh, collabing together parts for my costume. <clears throat> Not gonna tell you what's coming in the mail though, but but uh gotta be a surprise. That's all I can say. Got this shirt here, just a button up cotton shirt and extra large. <laughs> uh that's what you would see a Confederate soldier wearing under his coat, his sack coat. A Confederate soldier, that's what they wore. Uh sack coats. I might put one up here in a second and show you. But that's what they would wear underneath. So basically, in their uniform, or their uh, their uh, army uniform, excuse me, not military, but their uniform, they would wear you know their regular socks, underwear, t-shirt, you know, or a button-up shirt, you know, whatever it was that they wore. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, let's see, the U.S. Springfield, that's a 56 to 50 caliber, 56 to 50 rim fire, 50 rim fire, I don't know, 52 rim fire, I don't know what caliber that is, I know they run 53 caliber, uh, but anyway, there's the rifles of the Civil War, no different rifles they would have used, but anyway, <clears throat> I got this, this is a... <coughs> Connecticut Arms black powder 50 caliber you know you put the ball in the end and you know whatever I'm not exactly sure my my uh, dad tried to tell me about it but yeah yeah this is not the one that used in the Civil War obviously I'm um, for the Confederates not the Yankees uh, Yankees look better in dirt than they do uh, running around, but anyway, beside the point, not trying to down either side. But like I said, Connecticut Arms 50 caliber black powder. You now you load the thing in there, and this rock, wooden rod comes like cram it in there, and you put the little uh, uh, I can't think of what it is the thing that goes right here, the igniter, whatever you call that, the cap, but uh. This is a nice clean, little to no rust. Like I said, that they probably most likely didn't use this, but you compare it to the pictures right here in the the catalog of uh, uh, guns. You know, this kind of looks like something they would use. So this will be what I'll have for now. Might see about getting the black powder blanks and all that offline later. But for now, that's going to be like a prop. There's the shirt, like I said. Let me show you some things here on the com on the iPad. Sorry, not computer. Of what I got in mind of getting. Let's see. If you go to Google or Bing, of course, uh, you can type in. Sorry, my allergies. Uh, Colonel Sanders necktie. That's just a long piece of fabric, about that wide. I don't know, probably 30 inches long. It's like a necktie, but it's not. It's just a strip of fabric, you know, about 30 inches long. You pull it, put it around your neck and tie it like you would tie your tennis shoe. You know, make the bow. That's what the style that they wore around their, their uh, shirt there. And the pants, you know, the they're the, the, the gray wool pants. Uh, I'm bidding, bidding on some off eBay. I might show them in a minute. But they didn't have no belt loop holes. They had suspenders. You're not thinking. You're thinking of the ones that clip on. But these are buttonhole suspenders. It got buttons on the pants and the suspenders button over the, the pants. <clears throat> okay. I go to my photos here. And show you uh, the pants here. Sorry. Got all these apps. Stuff on here beside the point uh here are the pants 
pants I'm uh, trying to bid on here. They look pretty, you know, decent to start out with. Uh, tight pants, but anyway, let me show you. Uh, see what else? Oh, belt buckle. You know, that's a uh, seven, eight dollars. Some of this stuff ain't uh, high. Depends on where you get it. I'm not uh telling anyone where I'm getting my stuff, but anyway, uh, belt buckle. No leather belt. That goes on the outside of the, the frock coat. Let's see if I have a picture. Not the frock coat. It's uh, the sack coat. Uh, it'd be this style coat that you see these men wearing. Sack coat. The frock coat comes farther down. About to the knees. A little bit above the knees. But anyway. Uh, let's see if i got anything else to show you. There's a rifle similar to mine. But, uh, yeah, I'm putting together a uh, reenactment uniform because I just recently found out they did reenactments about 30 minutes from my house that I did not know about. So I'll be getting into that. But there are some of the, the Civil War rifles, mainly uh, is it these type up here. But like I said, mine might not be 100% perfect. 100% <laughs> accurate, sorry, getting off track, but... Went for now. I'm pretty sure they didn't have no plastic piece on the end of the butt stock. But you know, for photos or a quick video, you know, it'll look pretty good. But, uh, but the things I showed you that I'm uh, looking into getting are things to look out for on my channel. I will have the full uh, reenactment costume when I uh, get to it. My favorite. Uh, a uh, place to go is uh, is a sutlery uh, uh, website. I'll show you real quick here. Uh, type in Civil Civil War Reen Reenactment. Sorry, one hand here. Reenactment costume. Type that in on Google, and it should. Pull up the the C, the CC Sutlery uh, reenactment supplies. That's my favorite website, the CC Sutlery. Check it out. You can pause it and get the link. CC Sutlery supplies. Uh, I fairly like this site a lot. You can go you know, check it out. Union uniform package, Confederate package. Well, that was pretty nice, but I'm going to get mine individually, my stuff. But there's nice different things here. Kepis, caps, uh, butt buckles, revolvers and pistols, replicas, all stuff like that. But anyway, guys, that's a look of what I've been getting into here lately. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.